Hey guys, and welcome back to the stream. This is going to be an interesting one, I think, tonight. Um, we are playing Dial Town, and Dial Town is a Dial Town is a phone dating simulator. So it's a little bit weird core, uh, and the goal is that you date object heads that are mostly telephones with some variation. And it's supposed to be really funny. Now, I, I watched a little bit. The reason I found this game is because I was watching someone else stream it. And I got, like, two hours into a four-hour playthrough and I stopped watching because I knew for a fact I had to do this on stream. Dana and Pippi have never seen this game before, I don't think. They, they so far have given me lackluster responses. So they are about to find out the true peak comedy of what this game is so i'm just i'm just excited to be here <laughs> i think it'll be i think it'll be really good um i'm so excited <laughs> okay i'm gonna quiet down the music and i'm gonna i'm gonna jump and call with them they're not expecting whatever this game is they just don't know i'm gonna open the mini fridge, let's see. I am unbehinging. Please behave. Hi guys, you're on stream. Hi, Give me the visual, buddy. I will, I just have to, I just have to go to the live stream section. I should have to open the game. I've not done that yet. Computer, wow. enhance. I'm so excited. Bad streamer. <laughs> Shut up. I'm so Bad streamer. You you are mean to me. Hold on. Here I'll show Bat you. Here. Here's here's the game. Can you see that? Sure. Hello. Okay. <laughs> are you ready for this? I don't think you ever could be, but I mean Wait, I thought sure. we weren't streaming today. <laughs> I thought we were. I thought, I thought we were doing oh. no streaming activities today. I'm trying to get this to the game capture to pick this up. Please, Dial Town. Please show on my stream. I want to play this game so bad. What is I like happening? how crash the game is an option. That would be really funny. Hold on. Why is this not working? I want to play Dial Town. Why won't it? Let's see. It won't let me. Is it? <laughs> it won't. It won't. <laughs> it's because we're not doing anything today. Because <laughs> we're not eating. Not no to doing anything today. Hold on. Let me try this first. Let me try something. Please let me play Dial Town. Please allow me to play this game. I'm banned. <laughs> it's fucking. Working. It's not working. <laughs> this is so. I should have checked to see if this was gonna work earlier. I don't know why it wouldn't, but. It's because we're not doing anything today. <laughs> Hold on. So sorry, stream. Nothing today. Hold on. What if I switch the? Oh my god! I just heard a. Okay. Well, I'm gonna exit we're gonna the play game. Solitaire. This is really. This is frustrating. I was not expecting I could, this to happen. I, I could do. I. I could, I'm pretty good at solitaire. I have to I'm find just going love to play tonight. Solitaire. It's time. I'm it's gonna time. play solitaire. There's a time restriction. But we're not going to show the feed, and you're just going to have to take your, her word for it that she's winning. Hold on. <laughs> why- why won't this show on my freaking desktop? What's Change happening? Change the name of the stream to Miranda Solitaire ASMR. Oh god, please, no. <laughs> oh, why is I'm, it- I'm gonna- wait, guys, I'm gonna cry. Someone- someone gifted me a sub to a streamer I watch. Yo! A streamer. Promo. Oh, no. This does. I can't get this to go on the screen. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna wait, let me let me open another game. Let me open another game and see if it works. It, it, it's just gonna it be works. really funny if it's just Dial Town. If it's just Dial Town, it's gonna be hysterical. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I've opened Half Life. Let's see if it works. There is no Half Life option. Hold on. This is we're having an issue. Please. Oh God. Go. I'm begging you. What is happening? <laughs> Don't, what? That <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, what's happening? Why does the universe thwart my attempts to find love? 
Come on. There is literally no half life option anymore. What? Boo! Boo! Guys! I'm so stupid! I can't, won't even let me put on. Okay. What if I open Minecraft? Will it. <laughs> look, at, look at the stream info. Wait, did you change my stream info? Hold on. I don't have that pulled up. I really should, though. Hold on. It's Miranda Solitaire ASMR. Change it back! Change it back! <laughs> This is going in. This is no. going in the Discord. This is not solitaire. It could be. No. <laughs> no. No. One second. No. 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 Hold on. This is important. All right. All right. I can make this work. Hold on. I don't know. I've opened Minecraft. Let's see if Minecraft will will work. Do I just have to remove the, um, I'm gonna try removing the game capture entirely. Remove, be gone, the game capture. Let's see if that works. Game capture, where did you go? Oh, there it goes, okay. Add that source. Put that at the very bottom of the thingy. And now we open Dial Town Phone Dating Sim again. This is exactly what I expected from a game like this. This is exact. I don't know what else it would be. Dial Town, please. I'm begging you. I'm like, I'm begging you. Please. Please. Unbended me. Unbended me. Why? Why tonight? Why must this happen to me tonight? I literally. We're not doing anything tonight. <laughs> you guys gotta stop <laughs> saying that. If I hit crash the game, will it work? I've crashed the game. <laughs> Close. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I, don't know. I, admit I don't know why I expected that to go differently. I I don't I don't know what to do. It's just not it's not working. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna make a whole new scene. It's gonna be called Please Work. Okay. You guys only see darkness, but soon that will change. <laughs> Please play Dial Town. I lock it. No, we are doing stuff. It's just freaky broken. <laughs> Scuffed stream. Hold on, I'm trying to find love. <laughs> she says they like this game is for couples only. No. It's not working. It's just, it's fucking broken. It won't, it- <laughs> Let's play solitaire instead. I don't even have solitaire! You do, it came with your Xbox. No, it didn't! <laughs> it came with your Xbox. I was gonna say, I don't have an Xbox, but technically we do. I just don't think I could play that right now. I'm gonna open Minecraft, and I'm gonna see if it works with Minecraft. Anybody who's here, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you about what's happening right now. We're not doing anything. Let's see. Um. I mean, this the information is should be fine. So, audience, how are you doing? That's what I want to know. Audience, tell us how you're doing. Audience. Use the chat feature. Chat with us while I chat with them while I cry a little bit as I make this work. I just wanted to find love. I didn't expect this to be so hard. This hasn't happened before. <laughs> Not this badly. I'm opening Minecraft. You can see the the the, the Mo Yang logo. Oh no, my camera's lagging. <gasps> oh no. Everything's happening at once. <laughs> Please work. <laughs> uh, okay. I am. I'm okay. I'm on Froggy. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm getting action text. Hold on. Okay. Sit down over here. Let's see if we can make it work for Minecraft. There is okay. Minecraft. Okay. I've selected Minecraft. Okay. Minecraft's on the hey. screen. 
Damien, is it okay if, um... Mm. If Kai jumps and call, Kai can jump and call if he'd like. He'll yeah, just come on no and sense. hold on. Uh, okay, so Minecraft work. That means Dial Town should work. Dial Town, please work. Howdy, howdy. Wait, I just saw it. I just saw it, and then it disappeared. Oh, yeah, mine, yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft what? is popping up. No, Minecraft was there. I'm trying to switch. Okay, I'm seeing it like stuff. glitch. I'm seeing like the Howdy. edges of the Kai. We're... I'm having the worst time with Dial Town right now. Ever. We're Hold not on. doing anything tonight, Kai. We are doing everything. It's like actually, like, guys, it is like. There's I... no war and bossing today. <laughs> no, guys, look at this. <laughs> look at my stream labs. You'll see it flicker in and out every few seconds. It seems on brand. Look! That's terrifying! Sorry, I'm just looking at- I'm looking at- I'm looking at the- the bands list for the server, I'm- I'm- I, I, I'm a big fan of obsessed m mackerel. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what? What does that even mean? Obsessed mackerel was banned by Aussiescape 22 days ago. Oh, I only- bro. I only ban people who, uh, spam with wanna buy followers or say weird shit. Yeah, so. I know, but I- I just thought it was obsessed mackerel. It's a good name. And I also see- obsessed with mackerel. Uh, that sauce is... is an added permitted term by I uh, wish I could Karma show Tech. the stream what Streamlabs looks like right now. Well, because but then then it like... would it wouldn't show it. I know. This is a black hole. No, but look, it's like it's like flickering in in and out of the edges of existence. Not only not even this game can help me find love, it seems. This is really upsetting. <laughs> no, I'm upset. I'm angry. Hold on. If I hit new you game, you already have an object head. <laughs> if this is your doing, <laughs> okay. So it's not. It's not happening. I don't get it. I'm so angry. I don't know why it's not. I'm gonna quickly do some googling. Fourteen minutes of bullshittery. I am Let's... trying so hard Go. right now. All right, everyone. Thank you so much fuck for coming off, to fuck stream. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our stream, guys. We will, no. We hope shut you up. have a great night. <laughs> no one, no one is having the same issue that I'm having. I just googled it. If 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 if, if you want, I can change the uh, stream category to just chatting, and then we can figure it out. Yeah, turn it turn it to just chatting for a little while. Let's um. Okay, I, I wanted to ask first. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'm gonna turn it into uh into Gmod. I'm so Upset. No, we're not playing Gmod. We're playing <laughs> Dial Town. If I have anything to say about <laughs> guys, I've gone long enough in my life without love. I need, I need this experience, and you need it too. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> I'm spoken for. You're, you'll, you, you need to have the experience of Dial Town, though. It's just flickering mm. in and out ominously. I don't know. <laughs> to do about it dial town has become the cryptid of your dreams <laughs> this is this is creepy pasta territory i'm gonna start crying i don't know why it's not like i think i'm like it's so on brand but like it's really upsetting uh, change it to the oz crying stream we can make this the oz crying stream the roast of Oz. No, 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 not yet. You sit there in the corner of the That's screen. That's only funny Damie, when people Damie. know me and they don't. Damien, it's the roast of Oz time. I have heard from reliable sources that my hair is thinner than your hair. Is it? Apparently. I don't know. Who? who what, what source is telling you that? Um, one comic artist. Uh, oh, I know who it is. <laughs> anonymously submitted this information. Okay, there we go. Hold on, what if I just- what if I move the I, game capture to the I, top of the I, screen? I- 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 I changed- I changed the, um, the, um... What are we right now? What, what are we at? What are we- what's our name? I changed the stream- I- I have- I have we the original stream title. We are trying to figure this out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what- you guys know- you guys see what I'm seeing though, right? At the very yeah, end. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, I- it, it's just black. It's just terrifying to look at. Like, I'm trying to mess with it. In such you a guys, way. Uh, 
So what do you guys want to talk about, huh? You guys, you could talk about what, whatever you'd like. Enjoy yourself. You know. Uh, we're gonna look at we're gonna look at my Twitter feed. Why are we on your Twitter feed? Why not? What do you hmm. feed your Twitter? True. Um, a good balanced diet. Of. <laughs> your mom. And. Your, mom. Oh. your dad. Wait, guys, if I do display capture, oh. hold on, I might, mm -hmm. be able to, I might be able to window capture. Let's try that instead. Or maybe we can window capture the, um, oh, oh god. Did it do? Wait, hold on. <gasps> guys, look. I'm looking. Guys, it's happening. It is it? It is. Look. <laughs> It's I looked at on your streams. It was just that little window. It, it, yeah, it's just, it's just it's just it's just a tiny window. It's a baby size oh. window. Look, it's there, there now. We it go. exists. All right, let me get the let me get the stream stuff taken care of. There we go. That worked. Solitaire battle royale. <laughs> what was that? What you wrote? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it was when I last checked. I got it. Give me a second. I like Solitaire Battle Royale first playthrough. <laughs> You're joking! Please don't tell me you made this a Solitaire Battle Royale. We're dating freaking. That's not what this is. So that's, not even, that, that's not a thing that exists. Solitaire there we go. player. That's I'm moving joke. the chat over there. Okay, I've locked it. Okay. She you pay attention back. to the chat? Are you ready? <gasps> oh shit, I was surprised. I fucked it up. <laughs> I made nice. it full screen and it changed. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah, good. I'm so afraid all the time now. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happening here. We're having a time. Apology. <laughs> oh, there we are. It's back. Hold on. Let's make oh, it. This is. The, I, 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 I hope that this has been the most exhilarating 19 minutes of your guys' life. This I hope it hasn't. <laughs> I hope you're all doing just horrendously. Why would you say that? Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to play to play Dial Town? Yes. Okay. Sure. Now, now that we're actually like ready to play the game, 19 minutes in, it's happening finally. Okay. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good stream. Stream, stream the uh, the uh, the, the video oh, stuff. Yes, I gotta bring this to your Discord. There we go. Can you guys see that? You good to go? Yep. Yeah. All yeah. right, guys. To recap, since it's been 19 minutes, uh, <laughs> 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 Dial Town is a is a slightly weird core object head dating simulator where you date. Uh, object heads. They typically are phones, um, but not all of them. There is some variety. It's silly goofy. These guys have no idea what they're getting into. I have seen about two hours of content of this game, approximately. Uh, and then I stopped watching because I decided I had to play it on stream. So, that's where we're at with this. I'm very excited for you guys to see this game. Let's start. Select that god awful <laughs> chapter to experience. And so I suppose I think we chapter start, three. We can't start with that one. To unlock the final chapter, ye must help a man emerge from a dumpster for a final time. Save a dying theater from ruin. Just encourage an artist to follow her dreams and teach an ape man to accept himself. Well, These no. are the rules of the road. <laughs> Ready. Guys, I'm gonna find love today. Wait, I'm- hold on, I don't remember what it was. Was it encourage an artist to follow <laughs> and, their dreams? And, uh, an artist. An artist. For- For some reason my brain thought that it was arsonist. So, I mean, help I mean, them follow their be. dreams too. I feel like it's probably not a good idea to make a joke about arson being a, a form of art. Who wants to read for the dog? I do. Who's the most- yeah, true. I feel like- Hello! I get the most godly person here. Welcome to Dialtown. Phone dating sim. 
You must now answer this hound's questions three. <laughs> so, yeah, alright, let's do it. Is there any particular reason that you're speaking at all caps? Wait, am I me right now or me right now? Do the, yeah. Do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? <laughs> you look like a fucking <laughs> hound. That's hurtful. That's as hurtful as it is accurate, you know. Alright, now, if you'd shut up, I can ask you what your name is. <laughs> oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? So now we get to- <laughs> we get to give ourselves a name. Name yourself Poopy. No. <laughs> Wait, what's a good- what's a good phone pun? Oz. That, that's a great pun you came up with there. Good job. Name yourself Ozymandias, King of Kings. I'm not sure, but no, I'm not sure. I, I you know, you'd write King of Kings in there too. Ozyman, <laughs> Ozyman dial tone. <laughs> Ozyman dial tone. <laughs> that's right. No, name, your, name yourself Spamton. Absolutely not. We're going with the worst name possible. Really? That? That's your name? Ozman Dialtone. <laughs> Oz for short. Oh. Um, I'm so sorry. And what's wow. that supposed to mean? Hmm. Nope. Don't like that response. I'm just how God made me, dog. Middle one. <laughs> hmm. You'll live. Anywho. Second question. Select a head. No, head selection only affects compatibility with dateable characters and doesn't directly indicate gender. So we can be a phone head or a typewriter head. Although, I like typewriter. the typewriter is kind of funky. It also has a funky little eye on it. I feel like a phone is like, the classic? Wait, hold on. Let me see the typewriter for a moment. It also influences uh, who you um... can date in the game. So some some so, characters have preferences for typewriters and some have preferences for phones. I have one issue. Tell me, what is your issue? Um, I do not see an F on the typewriter head. Which means I can't say there fuck. There was one on phone head. Yeah, you can't write DTF. This <laughs> but like, but like, but look, if, if you look this at the top says row, nectar. this nectar, nectar, nectar. Yeah. This one says dog man. Dog man. I need some. And it has an There's a little violin in an eye. So th this will this will restrict us based on what we can. Oh, I kind of like I kind of like the phone mostly because of. Do you remember that one dream I had with like the weird radio static? Yeah, I did. Yeah. That's that's the, that's the vibe I want from this. I like the phone I... because that little like circle in the middle kind of looks like a ghost like coming out of the wall to give you a hug. It's oh, true. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one. We've done it. Haha, <laughs> 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 nice. Enjoy having a telemarketer living in your head. Well, I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. My greatest burden is remembering where I buried my own my old breadstick at any given time. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. <laughs> now, final question. <laughs> he can be a boy, he him his, a girl, she her her, her. <laughs> A kaiju, they them there, or other. Enter your own pronouns. I will be a he him. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess. It's true. Ooh, pickles. I, I'm not I'm not saying that top one, so Daddy <laughs> Doggo. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy Doggo. I don't know, can you? Dick. Alrighty then, get out of my sight. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this? <laughs> You're not ready for this. I'm a little I'm ready for this. Ready for anything you do. I'm mildly ready. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. You sinful creature. <laughs> Seems I'm alive again. <laughs> Oh no. Darn! Why do you have like 12 nibbles? <laughs> Six. 
<laughs> I hate it when I do that. <laughs> my testes are firm and right. Oh my okay. god. Are you are you certain this is okay? <laughs> Must be getting ready to have to play on, on stream. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's not a, it's not it's not a banned game. The time for reproduction is now. Wow. This is how it works. I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. What is going on? Fairground. <laughs> Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. This is, this is, this is weird you for everybody. You are just the clown. You're the whole circus. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even give you an easy way and they just started it with this. Yeah. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are higher hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator! Need lay eggs! Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. <laughs> so the the, the narrator and the main character that you play as argue quite a lot. <laughs> Greetings, ticket buffoon! <laughs> Who wants to be Jerry? Uh, my name is Jerry, but okay, sir. Please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. It's very important. Uh, how can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth! Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fitted hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. RATS! <laughs> How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. <laughs> Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Oh, shoot, that was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that... that creep who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? No, my cover has been blown! <laughs> Look, sir. I'm only telling you this because your stench is gonna drive away the customers. If I let you loiter around here uninhibited, uninhibited for any longer... It's Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> didn't you say that you have eggs to lay? Or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. <laughs> Does the sock oh, wow. under my mattress count? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck it. I'm cutting the chase because I can only take about three more dialogue options from you before my head combusts. <laughs> Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. Love? What on God's green earth is that? <laughs> Love is well. <laughs> Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. 
when two grown-ups are in love. They'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one, for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can... I don't know... Force them to pay you in? Like a parasite? Granted, it'd take a real bastard to... Mission acquired! <laughs> oh, God, fuck it. Must source mate! <laughs> okay. Uh, go do that. Away from here. <laughs> hey, Chicken Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? I will call the police. Alright. No! <laughs> I can't date Jerry! I fucked up. Scuttle away. Wow, you really beefed it with Jerry there. I fucked it up with Jerry. Jeez. I didn't even realize he was a route you could, like, actually date. Oh, I assumed he was. It's too late now. I can't date Jerry from the ticket booth. Well... I'm no longer ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fresh hell is this? <laughs> what kind of dating, dating scene are we looking for? Ah. Oh. Ten, sweet ten. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto, like a parasite. You'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Ugh, do I have to? Or great stuff! Let's go lay these eggs! I wanna hear, I wanna hear the excuse as to why we can't just do it here. <laughs> That's true. Keep in mind, this tent freely occupies a relatively unwanted patch of grass at Dial Town's local park. AKA, you are DANGEROUSLY close to at least four swans at any given moment while in the squalid tent. But your sure babies enough. really be safe in here. <laughs> ah, shit, you're right. Okay, you know what? I That's hate it when you're right. Friendly <laughs> reminder. You can bring up the main menu at any point with using the escape key, including during NPC dialogue during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Blah 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 blah. When you do something, but feel free, though it might get you arrested or killed. So basically, Wait. you can just you could just do saves for funnies, basically. That's the good time thing. to save scum to get the best ending. What the fuck was that? Well, you already lost the Jerry route. I'm so sad about that. He was the one I wanted to date the most. <laughs> out of out of what other option? You'll see. The the god dog, probably. Where would you like to go? So we can go to the park, to the nearby playground, or to Uptown Dial Town. I like the sound of Uptown Dial Town. Yeah, I was uptown gonna say Uptown. Dial. That makes me think of Billy Joel. Let's go to the Uptown. Uptown, fuck you up. Uptown. Uh, uptown <laughs> Dial Town. Okay. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dial Town. So, what now? Get we can class. summon a local hobo or talk to a local bystander. What's the summon menu? the hobo? Hobo of Dial Town! I summon <laughs> thee! Who wants to be the hobo? Wait. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? <laughs> well, 
Yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such. Being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, the thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now. Farted out the cosmos and stars and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. Hang on, you created everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. You mean like building society and shit? <laughs> we do live in society. <laughs> I bet we did more than you did to create us. you did to create us, stinky mutt. <laughs> I already saved Scully to see what happened. <laughs> You know what? Fair. Oh. You ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box, only to find a new species evolve in the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? This world is my takeout box, and I'm, hu I'm the hungover dude gazing upon the infinite possibilities and disgust and awe. Pick Kick me, me on God. God. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to meet ya. Are you God. We're gonna go through all of these. Wait, wait. Do you want to punch God first? Save real quick, yeah. save real quick, save real save quick. Save real quick. Punch God. Um. The prompt I thought I'd never get. I. What? Do I just have to hit enter? Yeah, why not? Yes, why not? We're good to go. Okay. Punch God. <laughs> you fool! I'm a god! How can you kill a god? <laughs> what a grand! What a what grand! A grand and intoxicating <laughs> ignorance! Innocence from the song! Oh yeah, innocence. How god, could I you love, be I love the so Elvish. naive? I... God. Okay, I appear to have just shit myself. <laughs> you win this round, green one. <laughs> what? Are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? Can we I'm get some dag off errors in chat? So yes, it must be <laughs> at what? least noon. I was asking, can we get some Dagoth Urs in chat? Please. Can we get some Dagoth Urs in chat? Let's see. Uh, I'm indeed moments away from severe liver, liver failure, yes. What's your favorite hobby? You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock yourself till you try it. It's true. I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? Shut the fuck up, you don't know me. What? At least forge for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like glass? <laughs> like broken glass and shiny rocks? See, there we go. God damn it. If you're a god, what's the meaning of life, then? You want me to come up with a reason for all this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. I probably ate trash, knowing me. So, can you, like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Nah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? It'd probably be like a million times more coherent than what I could think up. I think the meaning of life is to treat other people nicely. I think the meaning of life is to eat or be eaten. Life is merely a game, dear hobo. I think life has no meaning and that you're full of shit. What's one of these two? I think it's dear hobo. That's yeah. True. If this is all just a game, if this is all just a game, then let me say, this is a pretty fucking shoddy excuse for a game. 
Don't quote me on that. See, aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? And what is a god to a non-believer? <laughs> Honestly? No judgment here, pal. I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. Oh. Aww. No one does. Can you pay me into the funfair, God? God, how much would that even cost? Two dollars. One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? <laughs> Are you God? Don't you control reality? Darn, I guess that explains why you're a smelly hobo dog. I could pick either of these. <laughs> I think smelly <laughs> hobo dog. Yeah. Yeah, that, and I'm just too stubborn to live anywhere that I didn't create myself. But if you're God, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees, and shit. Anywhere outside? Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings? Concrete? Concrete? Dunno, what you fucking onions are doing with the rock. But it is blasphemy, I don't care much for it at all. But you sleep on a street. There's hardly more trees or plants on this street than in, let's say, the park. Have you ever tried to lay down in the park? Yes. I swear, the benches there is only a human length surface area not covered in used syringes and badger shit. Whoop. You know I'm right. Plus, concrete aside, there's dumpsters are plenty around here. Free food whenever you feel like it. Long gone are the days where cavemen had to hunt squirrels and with stones and crossbows whenever they get peckish. Raccoons have already figured this out, by the way, and literally just scurry around and eat trash all day. Yeah, they're officially my chosen people now. You guys could learn a thing or two from those stripy little bastards. Hmm. Noted. Well, I guess we gotta get going. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? <laughs> gotta lay me some eggs, actually. I'm heavily pregnant. I gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted ten years of my life with. I've merely <laughs> grown tired of you. <laughs> I, I, like, I like that third option, actually, because of how, like, passive it is compared to the others. <laughs> I'm heavily pregnant. It's very funny to me. <laughs> I love all- I love the first and the third one. They're both so good. Miranda, do you have a preference? No, I think they're both fucking hilarious. I've merely grown tired of you. Fair. Okay, ciao. Alright. You can summon the hobo again or we can talk to a local vice. I think if we summon the hobo, he just comes back and it's the same option. Oh, let's try it. Let's, the, the hobo? <laughs> okay, come back. Yeah. Come. Hobo of Dialtown, I summon thee! Yeah. Had to be sure. Hey, buddy. What's pop? What's the haps? Guess I gotta get going. <laughs> Okie dokie. Ciao. See you in your dreams. Alright, we can talk to a local bystander. Who wants to be? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do, green partner? <laughs> Name's Mikey, which is short for... Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. <laughs> the Ozaman dial tone. Hello. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do you for on this fine spring afternoon? <laughs> Hello! Can you take me to the fun fill, please? Ah, uh, shucks, partner. I would. Don't get me wrong. 
but alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. <laughs> You're looking at Dial Town's newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. Here, lichen. Pawn scum. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, ain't that a coin dink? All of my bestsellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. You want to find a man who knows more about parasitism than all of down Dial Town, pardon me. Is he dateable? Speaking of, let me know what I can do you for, because any longer and I'll be running tardy. <laughs> oh! We can ask questions. This is the last one, because we have to we have to get to know him. Say, so what's your latest yeah. book about? My current book's all about people parasites. Like what all me? Nah, people, you know. Flesh colored bipedal critters. Flesh colored means nothing to me. Flesh can be different colors. Can't say I've ever seen it in green, though, partner. I mean. <laughs> Don't suppose you'd want to copy my latest book, would you? Are there pictures in it? There are, partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words? Would I have to read? Yeah, I mean, it is a book. PASS! Hard pass. Well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Is that it then, partner? Hey, Mikey, give me a parasite back. <laughs> you know, there's a whole world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there's a critter out there, a little isopod called the Tongue Louse, that lives in the ocean, and oh boy. It crawls into a fish's mouth, rips off the fish's tongue, and becomes its new tongue. Honestly, that's pretty relatable. Sounds like something I'd totally do. <laughs> Thanks for the fact. My insides feel itchy now. And time, bud. Alright, guys. So if you're into parasites, uh, are you into me? Uh, no offense, but I, f I find you mild mildly upset and to gawk at. None taken, I get that a lot. <laughs> Though, if you happen to have, say, a few tapeworms that are going around in that old gut of yours. Oh god, the tongue loss is an actual thing. Give me a call. <laughs> it's about food. <laughs> If you do, there might be some free isopod grub in there for you. It's kind of edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? Yeah, it looks like you'd probably eat what I have in my bag. <laughs> You're totally right, I would. Is it pickle? Can I have some? Call me later and find out, pardon. <laughs> for now, is that all? Time for me to scuttle off then. Fingers. Right on then. Bye now, partner. Well, we have talked to our bystanders. Let's see. Talk we have another. Let's see. We've we've summoned our hobo. Where would you like to go? So we can go to downtown Dial Town. We can go to the outskirts of town where the fun fair and the woods are, and we can sneak onto the subway. We can go to the local park, Tier Tent, Park, Home Sweet Home, to the local phone shop, to the local cinema, or the local bank. Mm. I feel like the bank is always the best place to find love. The bank? Yeah. You can go to the bank. Yeah. The bank. It gets robbed, really? you have to duck for cover, and your hand bumps into the hand <laughs> of the teller. Why the bank? <laughs> Ticket Jerry yeah, said one. couples make joint bank accounts together. Hmm. I did say that. This is destiny, baby! So if you're correct, you mean if Ticket Jerry is, yes. <laughs> right. And 
if the bank is full of couples making joint bank accounts together, then I reckon your odds of finding a funfair mate are practically zero, since everyone making a joint account would be, by definition, very much already taken. Bessard men! <laughs> that looks like we're still going, though. What would you like to do? Ring for a teller. Hey, who's reading? I don't know. Who wants to read Karen? Who wants to be Karen? Who wants to be Karen? Uh, and then we could go back. We, we can go back in a circle, and I could voice Karen. Sure. Oh, good. You're green. Let's see. <laughs> 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 oh my god. We could be green together if you catch my drift. <laughs> do it. I do not catch your drift, no. Please kindly explain what literally any of that means. Okay, fair game. You got me. I just figured that what I said past was some sort of euphemism. Because it sounds kind of like one. Wondrous, yes. Now. Were you hoping to make a transaction, sir, or... Let's see. We can test our compatibility. <laughs> so what exactly is money, then? <laughs> Let's see. We can, which, okay, we'll start with... Let's start by asking what money is. Miranda, that's you. Sorry, 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 no, I got good, distracted. You're good, you're good. Look, sir, I often fail to detect sarcasm, but... Come on, surely that's a jest. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. I am an upstanding <laughs> member of the society that we live in. I genuinely Why? don't really know how money works. <laughs> do we want to lie or do we want to be honest? Hmm. I feel like being vulnerable here. Don't I general genuinely don't know. You want to be vulnerable with Karen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you okay. guys? Andy, do we want to be vulnerable? Show your soft side. Okay. Show your soft side. All right. Well, you come to the right place then. This is indeed a bank, yes, which is a bur bur burger joint, but for sweaty green paper. True. And also, is capable of sending violent goo with bats. You should neglect to return more beef than you took by the due date in the immediate future. Rad! <laughs> you guys are like loan sharks, but licensed. Essentially, yes. But, keep in mind, you also risk holding up the line by asking insane questions about the basic of finance. So do you want the short version or the medium length version? The long version is under figurative lock and key until you ask me miscellaneous finance questions at a more suitable time. Thank you. So, short version, you're a busy gal after all. The medium length way. I've got a hot minute. We got a medium. hot minute. We gotta have so. the streaming content. <laughs> As I check, minutes don't have their own temperatures. It's, it's, it's an idiom, Karen. Well, idioms are for idiots. I'm so oh. sorry for hurting you this way. That's an idiom I thought of yesterday. Can I use that one? It It's a free country, man. Alright, fine. Forget money. I'm content with the idiom. So about money. Money. Tell me. Oh, right, yeah. So, money is paper. I've heard enough, thank you! <laughs> I'm not finished. Not all money is paper, you know. This is too much, shut the fuck up before my brain hemorrhages! Sorry, continue. <laughs> it's a, okay, this is too much, but we're doing this for love. 
but also cer cylindrical metal discs with heads on them intricate how patriotic an individual racial raci ratio of nickel to tin the coin is. True. Yes, yes, very interesting. Do continue. Yes. So, like, paper and metal and stuff don't mean anything on their own anymore. But back in the old days, each coin I know was a tiny speck of gold, which was accepted as a universal currency instead of the horse jerky or dead chickens. Mm -hmm. But then we did away with the gold shtick because while it is shiny, it's also annoyingly to get a physical grasp, like my glittery ex girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> Alright, enough. I get it. Wait, so what does money equal now if not gold? Well, kind of nothing. It's been backed by physical commodities for a long time. We've just unanimously accepted that it exists and no one has n no inherent numerical value aside from being really nice paper. Damn. Nobody actually understands economics, so it doesn't matter much anyway. Hang on, that doesn't sound... It's easier this way, sir. <laughs> so, there's also this thing called Wall Street. What does it do? I don't know. Seems to make money, though. Damn. I think... It's a really well-fed machine that a bunch of bureaucrats crats or fish guts into and print these things called stocks. What are stocks? <laughs> Can bureaucrats throw fish guts into me? Uh -huh. Yes. Well, can you produce stock? I can pick locks! With my tongue. <laughs> See, that's not the same thing at all. Wait. Did you say tongue? You said too much. <laughs> right. So, then people buy stocks using money and... Yeah. Sometimes they make more money, but mostly, they make less. Because if everyone made more money, then the poor wouldn't be poor and the rich wouldn't have to throw lawn darts at some other social groups. Damn. Like garden gnomes or lawn flamingos. Both of these strangely have real-world significance to me. But, both groups hold dark, infernal energies. So, it's in the 1% best intent and interest that people like us remain here. Mm -hmm. You likely know the rest. I know nothing. Thank you, though. Wait, you're confirming that gnomes have a malevolent unholy energy? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen guard gnomes up close? Kyle, you have to see if to relay this to your mom. <laughs> I'm no conspiracy nut, but... Well, I have optical sensors, don't I? Do you? One of those- look at those things and... If you want to get it... If you- if you want to get what I mean, you'll get it, don't you? Any- alright though, so... Are you here to make a transaction, or...? Oh, we can test compatibility that. now. We can test- are you taken tonight by any chance? <laughs> taken by what exactly? No, I meant, are you free tonight? Am I... What is this? What are you asking? Can I help you? <laughs> Take me to the fun fair, please! <laughs> no, of course you can't, which is why I walked up to this counter and to you, no less. Please take me to the fun fair, my paper churning mistress. Do the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Save and do the last one. Oh. oh, it's too late. Firstly, never call me that again, thanks. Secondly, what? I wanted to ask you out on a date. You're asking me out on a date? Look. Don't take this the wrong way, sir, but I'm not into phones. Surprise. 
<laughs> I'm a typewriter kind of gal. <laughs> so, unless you can change your head on the fly. Can do, just need a hacksaw, super glue, and some paper. In ten goddamned minutes, Karen! <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, it's a pass for me. Mm -hmm. We can't, we can't date her because we're not a typewriter. Oh. Crud, this womps! <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this womps. Do you want, do you want screaming crud. or do you want crud this womps? This womps. I love this womps. Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint, sir. Do you need something else, um? So, your head... Yeah, it's a printer. I know it's fairly atypical, but believe me, I get this every day. How does that work for you? I don't have anybody working for me, I'm an employee. Hmm. That's... I mean, <laughs> how does it work? <laughs> there we go. With the ink, you have seen a printer before, right? Yeah, thanks. Uh... Is having a printer instead of a typewriter different in day-to-day -day life? Well, I wouldn't know truly, because I've had a printer for my head for as long as I can remember, and so I have no point of comparison. That's all I know, you know? I know, yes. Hmm. So, people get uppity about how I express myself. And why is that? Well, most typewriters print out pages with words on them. I produce pictures. People don't really like that. Well, a picture paints a thousand words, as they say. Oh, well, I don't blame them. <laughs> it is pretty whack-ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. I'm sorry for prying. I don't want to be mean to her, though. I don't either, but whack-ass is really funny. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. You can pick the, we can pick the top one or the bottom one. See. Okay, do the top one. Yes. <laughs> Are you even listening? I just said I can't print words. That's the issue. I'm sorry. I fucked up. Please listen to my responses if you're gonna ask questions. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it literally. I'm well, sorry. can you speak literally? Idioms go over my head. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. Yes, I'm aware it's an idiom. I get that one now. Because phone lord... People jump straight to idioms and not- about not getting idioms. Because I'm the one not getting how the basics works, apparently. I'm sorry, Karen. I'm sorry, sir. I diverted the topic. No, Karen, you're fine! Is there anything else I can help you with? Can I check my account balance, please? Alright, sir, what's your account number? Mm -hmm. Four. Do, do you have it? You do have an account with DTCB, don't you? Do I need one? I've been sweating. <laughs> To check your account balance with us, yes, you most certainly do. <coughs> well, would you like to create an account with DTCB? Would I lose my legal ferality conservation status? <laughs> <laughs> you may very well lose whatever that is, yes. Right. Hmm. Let's see. All right, go on then. Make me an account anyway. All right then, sir. Let's see what kind of account you're eligible for. Look, I'll be honest. I don't know how or what you are, and thus what kind of account to make you. You look adult size, red, relatively adult shape. How old are you then? I think I might be like. Ageless? I need an age. I don't know then. 80? 40? 
put a 40 down, if the bank thinks I'm having a middle life crisis, they might give me some instant gratification sports car moolah. <laughs> and then I could just die before they can ask for it back. That's the perfect <laughs> play. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, see, now we know you're planning to do that, so no, you cannot, in fact, do exactly that. So, 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 no, so no more. I have unticked the midlife crisis box. Yes. Oh. Maybe I can make a student account for you. Are you studying anything at the moment? Gravel. <laughs> Wait, no, politics. Mm. No, no, that's, uh... Ah, I've got it! Gravel. <laughs> Actually, scratch that, lest any other cryptids catch wind of this. <laughs> Don't want them oh, to no, think I'm not a master cryptid. of gravel. <laughs> 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 I'd lose street cred, or in their case, bridge cred. Okay, yep, let's acknowledge none of that. Instead... Descend further into the abyss that is you. See, the mayor really wants us to start doing animal accounts for some bizarre reason. But, as you can imagine, other than the very polite Shiba Inu with the rather fetching stick, no animal seems really interested in dis disposing anything of value nor our bank. So, about the the thing you are animals last i checked i'm legally more akin to a sasquatch <laughs> okay no that information it makes this whole process much easier i'll file your account type under the cryptids cloud and other assorted wielders, yeah, weirdos heading. The fact that you have to distinguish clowns and cryptids now is really sad. Social justice gone rampant, I say! Molly's risking clowns when I get into trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> These passing times we live in. Society. Did we say anything about clowns? What do you mean? Did we say anything about clowns? Yeah. Did we say anything about clowns? No. Yeah, clowns and cryptids are a separate. Category. Oh, there we oh, go. Yeah. There we clowns go. Clowns and cryptids are a separate category. There we go. And we're in society. Go ahead. We do live in a society. Yes. <laughs> All right. So now we have your status out of the way. We can fill out your final forms. What's your full name then? Awesome man deal. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> awesome man dial tone. Is that your whole name? Usually people add a fucking goddamned before saying it, but yes. See, the next apartment wouldn't like that very much. Do you like anyone over in the next apartment? Fucking goddamn awesome Mandy dial tone it is, then. <laughs> Alright, next question. Your phone number? Head. Right. Do you know your phone number? I'm bold of you to assume <laughs> that I can count. <laughs> well, at least take- it can at least take calls. Miranda, you sound so tired. I am. Uh, I'm falling. I'm. I'm falling in and out of consciousness as we speak. <laughs> if you want to oh sleep, boy. you can. You can go take a nap. Not a nap. Go to I'm, sleep for the I'm, night. I'm, it's I'm, late. I'm falling. I'm falling in sleep between lines, and I feel bad. I want to play a game. No, it's okay if you're tired. You can sleep. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You can always come back and watch the VOD later, don't worry. If I wanna partake... You wanna- you wanna fall asleep and call? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see, so- um, no, I'll, I'll- you guys continue the game, someone take over my voice or I'm gonna go brush my teeth and be back. Okay. Okay. So who wants to take over for Miranda? 
Yeah, I will. All right. So I get to say that my phone takes. So she said, does it take calls? And I can say, only hearts and not him. Or I could say, I'm afraid to find out in case it jiggles too much that the stitching comes loose. <laughs> the second one is just unhinged enough that it might work. It's true. Ew. <laughs> yeah, see, no, that doesn't work as a valid means of communication, so we'll need your postal address. Pent. Right, good. <laughs> we need more than one line for the address. Oh, silly me. It's in the park. Wait, no. Can't have Wall Street knowing where to find my nectars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wh the woods! So, your address is Tent the Woods. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I have a problem with that. Me? Nah. Not as such. But the next apartment might. You'll have to be much more specific. So the woods doesn't fly as an address. But, wait, didn't you imply that Bigfoot was a client of yours, though? No, see, DTCP has a policy of banker customer confidentiality under Dialtown's new data protection laws. He so. has been here! I know it. His musk lingers in the air! You know he lives in the woods! Admit it! Look, even if Mr. Scott. Mr! You know he's real! Look, sir, I... Nope. I am not losing this job for Bigfoot's confidentiality. <laughs> Look, you don't qualify for a bank account, and you don't likely have much to put in it anyway. <laughs> I would consider <laughs> half a turnip a lot of money. <laughs> Moo. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Moo, man. Make me a paperwork. Why is it... Get a job. <laughs> Why is it in why is it in brackets like Samson saying it? Hold on, I need to save really fast. <laughs> Lord knows I'm about to do something. Oh wait, no. Actually go back. I might want to wait, go back. Hold on. I wanna next file. Beep beep. Okay. <laughs> we did it. So which one do we wanna do? <laughs> do the last one? <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> I can't type. My head is a printer, you. Oh. I have a job, so what's your job then? Bush! Bush isn't a fucking job, you weirdo. I know that, Karen! <laughs> it's a fucking lifestyle, you <laughs> ink ejecting scarlet! <laughs> This has got off the rails. <laughs> Security. <laughs> what half falls once in five minutes? We've got another bush dweller. <laughs> bush dweller? Scamper away will soundly like a wounded coyote. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think that went right. <laughs> so? Me too. I think she likes you. Uh, she only likes typewriters. I'm not her type. So we just did the bank. Um, I Let's would go like to the phone shop. I want to go to the phone shop. I want to leave cinema for later. I want to go to. I want to go to Dial Town, like the the uptown or the downtown. Why did you wander in here, awesome and Dial Town? A phone shop of all places. I doubt they do repairs for people with stitched together flesh heads, you know, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever's up with you as of late. Something wrong, Ozaman Dial Tone? <laughs> the phone. Someone. Someone answer the goddamn phone! <laughs> <laughs> Is it me and Maya? If you'd like. 
Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What are you hollering for, hun? You sound like a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Is is this heaven? No, wait. This place is too drab for that. The river Styx, perhaps. Oh, I getcha. Cause of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hun. They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you wanna understand? Jesus Christ, God. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, what is this place? Can you give me a brief summary? No, I thrive in ignorance. Leave me be. <laughs> I kind of want to know a little I'm bit. I'm curious, yeah. It's pretty <laughs> curious for that. We're standing in the Dial Town phone store. Shops near a hundred years old now. Set up by my pa. God rest his soul. <laughs> Shop initially sold whole telephones, but with them being so common nowadays. Well. We've adopted to fit the current market. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know. A hundred pieces sell just as good as one complete phone, I find. Same thing goes for most aspects of life, I also find. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up bit by bit. Nice. Now, if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. My god, Christ! <laughs> Am I being seduced by the typewriter? <laughs> We're gonna ask can what the fun fair phones? later. Let's see. Tell me about yourself. You want to know about me? Oh, well, I'm not that all that interesting. I feel like I should have put the <laughs> ASMR tag. I think actually that might be there. <laughs> it is. You I have it. You have auto. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just been alive long enough to hear a few interesting notions. Meet a few interesting people. Am I one? Hmm. No. <laughs> I'm old. If your eyes ain't doing so hot. Sorry, I meant optical sensors, or whatever they're called now. The way I see it, if you see with them, their eyes. Don't matter if your head's a phone, typewriter, or what have ya. Anyway, my story ain't much to tell. If life was a story, I'm sure I'd be one of those bit characters, you know, the sort. Just sitting around in the same place all day, just waiting to be found so I could share what I know about our funny little world. I don't know what to tell you, ma'am. My father probably would have been a better person to talk to, you know. <laughs> He set up shop here a few shakes after the telegram went to the way of the dodo. No! Would you believe my pop sold Callum Crown his first telephone back in 42? Oh no. Scandal. We've been in dial town for a long time, our line. In a way, I like to think we're a part of old history, even if only just... Let's see. Uh, who, who, who's Callum We're getting, Crown? We're getting lore. We're getting world lore. There is so much world lore. Oh, you know. I don't know. Mm -mm. The inventor. The man who built the very first phone head. Ooh. Fell and became the mayor of this here town. Then, priest. Prezio, this year, country. Of course, this was all just before the worldwide dial-up, mind you. 
If it weren't for him, we'd still have our old fleshy heads and the world would be nothing like it is now. <laughs> Man, this ASMR really does work, huh? Should we, should we, should we push Miranda from the call? Yeah, I'll get it. Good night, Miranda. I love you. Good night, Miranda. And so there were three. Did you know? Did you know Callum personally? Most of the town did then, when I was a little girl. Could've, couldn't avoid the fellow when he was campaigning for mayor, and then president. Something that was... infectious. Oh my god! <laughs> the duck he just knew what he wanted. He had a vision. A dream. Not dream? Dream. Fellas like him. It didn't matter what they do, or where they go. They just attract power. <laughs> Sometimes that ain't the best thing for everyone, though. And that's the last I'll say on the subject. Whoopsies. So wait, you were alive before the worldwide dial-up? Hmm. Yeah, when I was a little girl, whole world had flesh heads. Fuck off. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters around in our homes and businesses, sure. Just not mounted to our shoulders. That would have been considered weird. So, were animals different too? Would I have been considered normal without my flesh bone head? <laughs> well... No, <laughs> since we didn't have green skin, or six nipples either. Damn. Just no machine heads. World was pretty much the same otherwise. I was born in the wrong era. You say that, but in the olden days you would have been considered a witch or a monster. And in the future, you'd definitely get stopped at alien customs. But I'm considered a monster now. Am I one? Yes. Aren't we all just a bit? Sorry, you got any more questions to ask? How is this place still in business? It's not. Selling telephones seems a bit like selling air, since, you know... Half of all people have telephones built onto their shoulders. Well, like I said when you first came in, I still move phones, don't you worry. Just piece by piece. Just gotta know how to adapt. Speaking of actually selling in pieces. Let's see. What kinds of customers do you normally get in here? All sorts. Health care ain't exactly the most affordable, and often enough, it's something small in the head that's acting up. A rusted piece, a shot transmitter, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So, most people don't want to, or rather can't afford to go see a doc over every small malfunction in part. Understandable. So, that's where I come in, or rather, my shop and my parts do. With a level head, all it takes is a steady hand, and instructions, of course, to replace the faulty part. Kai, I just want you to know, Talia, Talia was soothed by your voice and fell that's asleep a... briefly. <laughs> Goofing. <laughs> Welcome Goofing. back. Of course, to each their own. You soothe people to sleep. I still say people should see a doc for bigger issues if possible. Anyway, that's how things have been for most of my life. But as of recently, different parts sell. Mm. What kinds of parts sell now? 
cosmetics. Oh. Relatable. I see a lot of youngins coming in here from time to time, looking for whatever pieces I don't need. Slap them on their heads and bam, you've got a hybrid head. Ooh. Why? <clears throat> Uh, it's just them expressing themselves. The breaking down of old societal rules, old concepts. See, funny thing is, society seems to be changing with new people coming in and old people leaving. Back in my day, you were what others said you were, and that was that. Oh my god, you can be trans phone or trans typewriter. Oh my mm -hmm. god, Whoa. that's cool. Were things simpler back then? Things were cleaner, I guess you could say. You knew your role. But clean ain't perfect. That's true. Just meant folks were suffering out at your shop. This was so wise. You're so wise, Gabby. Easy to take a beautiful photo when the trash is sur trash is shoved out of frame, ain't it? <sighs> now Folks are speaking up for themselves, and people miss the simple times. But times are never simple for the folk who are now speaking up for themselves, and change is never pretty. Out of curiosity, what do you think? I think people should seek happiness. I'm glad to hear that, friend. Yum. I've always found the idea of living in some weird <laughs> Not mighty ridiculous, given we have te the technology to change ourselves. Mm -hmm. Humans are just incomplete masterpieces, presuming we can, we truly can be considered as such. An art ain't ever finished; it's abandoned. So true, Foon. Don't ever give up on yourself. We can all change. What if I feel like a threat? <laughs> <laughs> Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Believe me, hun, I'm flattered. But, nah, I've got a store to manage, I'm afraid. Is it me? Nah, I mean... Look, hun. I'm sure you'll find someone who's into whatever it is that you are. <laughs> <coughs> Keep searching. God knows I get weird customers in here. If you'd known where to look for them, I know one will be bound to take you, so don't give up. Let's fucking go. <laughs> 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 no. I don't want to no. be like that to yeah, Gabby. It Gabby has is. To be you. I, crave I older can't romance. say that. I can't say that. I don't want to ruin things with Gabby. I want to be on good terms with Gabby. <laughs> oh, I That's, can't. Yeah. You don't want to go off the rails on hinged ape mode. The thing is, all I know is that I there is a chapter two and a chapter three. I want Gabby to not hate me by chapter two and three in case Gabby becomes important. Because cause she's already declined to take us, but I also want yeah. to have some connections. We've already we already did this kind of thing <coughs> with Karen. And Karen caused security <laughs> on us. <laughs> so we're thanking Gabby for the encouragement. Yeah, yeah. Now are you gonna get buy something or I'm fine, thanks. See ya. Alright. Take care now. You here. Gabby's the only one who's been nice about my six nipples. <laughs> I can summon Gabby! <laughs> I just wanna see what that looks like, hold on. What is the Gabby, summon animation? I need you! Oh, Green, it's you. You're looking for something in particular this time. No, I'm good. Alright. Take care now, you hear. I like how we can summon Cat Gabby. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm upset about? Hmm? 
someone else started watching the stream since I started doing the Gabby voice, which honestly, I legitimately thought as soon as I started doing that voice, everyone would leave. I said, like the fact <laughs> I was that afraid of that. I was legitimately afraid of that. No, they're they're staying now. I enjoy that. So cinema last. Let's go. We can do. So we've done the phone shop. We can go to the tent. We can go to the park. We can go to down down dial town to the outskirts of town. We can go to these places. Gonna be I've been taking notes of what I've been doing for the different voices. Gabby's just described as Gamzy? Question mark. Don't you ever say that to me again. <laughs> it's like an incomplete Gamzy. We are going to downtown That's Dial the voice Town. I'm doing. Downtown. We're going downtown. <laughs> Bless you, Daniel. We're going Bless downtown, you. like Macklemore. Hell yeah! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, downtown dial town, where the air tastes like crystal meth, and the crystal meth tastes like smog. <laughs> so, what now? So we can read the notes on nearby phone pole, or talk to a nearby passerby. Let's get that passerby. Passerby? Yeah. Who wants to be Let's British? Let's get that bread. <laughs> that is a violin. Hello, hello, Jen! I, I, I do kinda <laughs> wanna be British. Okay. Hello, hello, Ben. You need something, then, mate? You're gonna have to do it much more aggressive. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Who are you? Okay. Oi, now be my da friend. <laughs> me da friend. <laughs> me da friend. <laughs> He's the worst. The name's Nathan Hanover, Governor. Bloody well chuffed to make your acquaintance, um, I am. <laughs> Sorry for me, ace mate, but I'm run quite late for a very important date. What's gotten you in a, uh, what's gotten in, what's gotten you in a hurry, Ben, or all right, beat, no, 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 we have to know. Well, I've got to ch go to a charity gig that I'm holding to raise money for an alcoholic dogs, yeah? Yep. <laughs> right, piss, them mongrels are. <laughs> Gotta get there to conduct me synthonic out. <laughs> Synthonic orchestra, <laughs> but I'm happy to answer questions you got. <coughs> and if you're quick, I'll be right chuffed. <laughs> I like that it's like right chuffed. Vaguely Austrian. <laughs> it's true. What does so chuffed? What does Synthonic mean? Oi, don't be nah. Shelly, you know. <laughs> nah, not a clue. Alright, so, imagine a ghost, yeah? Good way to start a sentence. But like, it's stuck in a bloody contraption, in it, <laughs> And it's all in from the inside of the machine, yeah? But, the screams are like, music in that, ain't it? I understand even less about synthonics now, thank you. I mean, that sounds Don't pretty cool. Don't mention it, governor. Just leave the magic to me, then. You ever met God? <coughs> Oi, the bum? Yeah. Yeah, he created the whole universe in that, innit? Saw him falling face down into a puddle yesterday. Well, grim. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Please, Dad? <laughs> Corboini, that sounds like Roy Bantz. <laughs> but unfortunately, Gam. Oh, British people. Do you like? <laughs> My crew. Not a me concert, and I'll be right knackered after I. What are you saying? Oh, God, am I being mugged? <laughs> nah, mate, you're alright. No beef. Oi, so, we done a little rather <laughs> natter then, mate, or what? I'll let you go then. Good luck with your... whatever. Right. Get this done, so get home, watch some footy, have a parma of chips. <laughs> nice meeting ya, tots all. Damn. None of those words are in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Read the notes on a nearby phone pole. 
A nearby pole teleports directly to you. God, what the fuck? <laughs> you hope to notice something, anything that'll help you, or that'll somehow get you into the fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna read the first advert aloud. Hiya, I'm Frongles the Clown. What the fuck is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real. Clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly, he might as well be my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? <laughs> people don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. Ugh. With a red, bulbous tumor attached to your face. That fucking honks. <laughs> they have gigantic shoes and get and get. They drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dance jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are menial. They are truly our wretched creatures. You wretched thing. Huh. I, I had no idea that you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so... Should we skip over the Frongles advert then? Oh, fuck that. Read the clown page. It might be funny. But you <laughs> said... <laughs> Fuck it, you're impossible. Read the clown page! Read the clown page. I'm reading it, Ellie. Let's see here. Hiya, boys and girls. I'm Frongles the Clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, but I'm also now dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. I'll do just about anything for four dollars. Please hire the clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. You think any task is too lonely for this clown? Four dollars, by God, you can afford that. Come on, I have a gym to feed. There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end, then. <laughs> Yours, Honk Felice, Prongles the Clown. Honk, honk. Huh. I don't wow. like emphasizing real clown. <laughs> I think the whiplash I got from hearing that is gonna make me vomit. Hey, do I have four dollars? I wanna hire the clown. You canonically if, have no dollars. If you had four fucking dollars, you wouldn't be looking for someone to pay you into the fun fair. Oh shit, yeah. Maybe I just want the company. <laughs> <laughs> you have me. You are pawn scum. Well, you lay eggs. Why did you say that if that's a- as if- yeah, fuck. Why did you say that as if saying that I lay eggs is an insult? When has BS, Brian? Okay, fuck it. Let's see what else is on here. Um, just a heads up, we are- uh, oh, oh, also, hi Neon, hi a flat snake, welcome to chat. Just a heads up, we are, um, dating phones. This is a phone dating simulator. If you don't know what's happening, we'll catch you up in a second. Object heads. Rent a chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you wanna take my chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little on the feral side now that he's reached full sexual maturity, but just as adorable as ever. Just don't let him don't near like kids. Pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only four dollars. My god, you can afford- Okay, this is clearly <laughs> that Frongles the Clown character again. <laughs> clown funny. <laughs> Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you troglodyte. You need to focus! Right, right, sorry, sorry. 
Are there any other advertisements latched onto that bar pole? Yeah, there's exactly one. Phone sex hotline. Somehow, I don't think you're going to get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? Do you have any better ideas? Consider, again, the bounce. So we can <laughs> bounce, we could call the number. I don't know what's gonna happen if we call a phone sex hotline in this game. I am afraid for my channel. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're gonna bounce. To the street. Away! Here we go. What now? So? Talk to a different passerby. Yeah. Oh. Two voices? Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, Roger. I love you to death, man. But you've gotta work on those nerves. Who wants to be the orange one? Who wants to be the red one? Uh, I'll be the orange one. Alright, Kai, then you're the red one. But you've gotta work on those nerves. Surely saying hello just once would suffice, no? Uh, I know, Peter. It's just that the, the green one is looking right at us. I think he wants something. Well, turn around and ask the nice man what he wants. Right, of course. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. The name's Roger. Also, before we continue, uh, in chat, phone guy, if you know the game Day Shift at Freddy's, the fan-made game for Five Nights at Freddy's that was very popular, I'm pretty sure, like, I've never played it, but I'm pretty sure the creator of that game made this game too. So if you're noticing references, they're probably there. Just letting you know. Hey, Roger. How's about you bring me to the fun fair, eh? Oh, uh, jeez, I'm flattered, really. But our lunch break just ended, so we've got to get back to work. It's who, Redhead? Firstly, my name's Peter. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Peter. <laughs> Because what if we could date people? You never know. Yes, hello, hello. Secondly, no offense, but I'm married. But you can't date Peter, I should use the other option. <laughs> but Peter, didn't you just tell me that Caroline wanted to spice things up in the... Inksnay on the Edroom Bay, Roger. Whoops, my bad. Sorry, that's on me. Ah, oh, shit. Italian. My mortal <laughs> nemesis. I don't speak that. <laughs> Once again, I'm cock-blocked by the <laughs> Musa Musumi. <laughs> Once again? <laughs> Once again? <laughs> Please don't ask any branching questions, Roger. Anyway, we're happy to answer any questions, provided you answer them quick. Our lunch break will be over any minute now, and the moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. That's fine. Gotta get back to work, you know. I should also mention this to new viewers in <coughs> chat. Um, okay, so the goal is that we're trying to get someone to pay for our ticket to get us into the fun fair because our character with green skin and six nipples is pregnant with eggs and needs to lay them in an environment that is dark and damp and has access to food which is the fun fair so we're trying to get someone to take us to the fun fair so we can lay eggs just to let you know <laughs> what's happening right now <laughs> So let's see. Hey, nice hat. Who are you to anyway? What do you contribute to the world? Okay, let's we'll start with start with hat. Hey, nice hat. Okay. Dana. 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 Is Dana is Dana gone too now? Is Dana gone? 
Is it down to two? Dana? Wait. D-D-Dana? Dana? Dana. <laughs> oh my god, Dana left call! <laughs> Wait, is she gone? <laughs> she just gone? Should I take over Roger for now, too? I can- I'll play Roger, you play them. <laughs> Dana's All right, fucking I'll play gone! Peter. Hey, thanks! I find it makes my head complete. Why doesn't your friend have a hat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do hats, I'm afraid. I can see this divide between you. This festering gap growing in your friendship. This difference of ideologies. This will only lead to war. <laughs> hey! I'm cool with the fact that he doesn't have a- Shh, sweet snow child is silent. Only darkness now. <laughs> Peter, help. Let's see. Who are you two anyway? What do you contribute to the world? Th that's an existential question. Uh, what is a man's worth? Uh, his merits, his morals, his legacy. I think he wants us to tell him about the daily grind, Roger. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, we work over at the Dialtown Mechanics plant, the, the old one off Main Street. The one that used to be Crown Mechanics, of course, over 50 years ago, before the rebranding. Anyway, me and Peter work together. I work at there together. Ah, uh, that's where he does assembly. And I'm his manager. Wait, you're his manager? Well, yeah. You see, one afternoon, our old manager ran onto the assembly floor, papers shuffling frantically in hand. Uh, he said our plant was going to go through some new changes, and one of us was going to be promoted to his old position. Uh, was he promoted? To a corpse, yes. Oh, shit. Nasty bit of business, that. Turns out the guy had ties with the Dialtown mob. The cops had finally caught up with him. Ended up jumping out of a four-story window. Oh my god, onto one of the trampolines. Okay, I, we just manufactured. Okay. That, was a, that was a roller coaster. What a lousy way to learn that the trampoline machine wasn't printing any of the actual trampoline parts bar the frame springs. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was so worried. So much whiplash. I was so whiplash. worried that once he died, the cops just would start shooting at me. I figured, but with Lord, I, if he can pass his old job to me, maybe he could pass his crime to me. <laughs> you know? Like in GTA. Regardless, I persisted and made it through with a brave face, though. You hid and cried under the desk for the whole ordeal, actually. Yeah, but he didn't know that. So why he pick? Why did he pick you to be the manager and not your friend? Your friend seems far less incompetent at being a person. Oh, the old manager said it was for my diligence and expertise. Roger's assembly line was the closest to the door, and thus the closest to the manager, right as he entered. Okay, this is making a lot of sense. Hey, Quinnap. Hey, oh, Hi, Quinnap! Welcome to chat! Welcome, welcome! <gasps> what up? <laughs> we are going through Dial Town, and let me tell you, this is fucking whiplash the game. Please enjoy your stay. Speaking of, we have to get back to the plant. But wait, I thought you said Roger was the manager? Who is powerful enough to reprimand Roger for being late? Uh, n nobody. I just have to get back to make sure nobody else is running late. Mm hmm. Mm, smart, smart word. Mm. Speaking of. Peter, you couldn't possibly be cool with being Roger's lackey. I'm Roger's employee. Not Hello? Oh my god, Dana's back! Oh, I came back, I didn't expect it to. Welcome back! 
Hello. What happened to you? The internet cut out. We were so oh, we panicked. That makes sense. We didn't know what was happening. Do you want to take over your your role as the orange guy again? We're towards the end, but. Okay, sure. Do 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 do. Here you go. Besides, it's not even that. I actually take a lot of pride in my work. Do you? I'm honestly just grateful that I managed to get a manufacturing job here and don't have to ever return back to working at that pizza joint in Colorado. I'd much rather assemble nuts and bolts than pizzas, thank you very much. Brian, this is the reference you might be thinking of. This is Phone Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I've reread that. I'd much, I'd much rather be resembling nuts and bolts than pizzas. Thank you very much. Plus, there's worse managers out there than Roger. Rotary Christ, you should meet my brother. Oh yeah, his brother is the one. Should I? Oh, phone lord. No, you wouldn't want to catch whatever he has that makes his skin look like it does. You think having green skin is freaky? Try clementine orange. Some of these are timed, so I don't intentionally skip any of them just a heads up. Sometimes they just go fast. I'm standing right here, you know. <clears throat> yep. That's you, David. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I believe in you. Well, how many nipples does he have? Very good question. <laughs> okay, okay. I stand corrected. Maybe he's not all that. Stop talking about my nipples! <laughs> Just go. I've got errands to run anyway. Excellent, you know. And hey, if you ever need a job. I will never work, never toil, never slave away for my daily bread. I will die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> dressed in a fucking cat skin, bro. So, we can return to the nearby phone pole, now desperate enough to call the hotline, or leave the area. I don't know what this entails. I feel like, I feel like we shouldn't, let's, we shouldn't let's not, we should not risk that call. on stream. Okay, so we can go uptown, dial town, we can go to the out- Oh, there's more options, okay. To the outskirts of town. We can go to the fun fair, the woods, we can sneak out of the subway, we can go to the downtown city zoo, the local burger place, to one of the apartment complexes, to the local casino or bar. Where do you guys want to go? If we go, go to the zoo, maybe we could find more people to sign up for bank accounts. Ooh. I don't know where you got that logic, but I agree with it. Didn't they say they had something specifically for animals? Oh shit, yeah. that's right. Ah, uh, Dial Town City Zoo, you know. Damn, this <laughs> is intense. not feed the hairy ones. All of the emotions I'm feeling right now. Oh, come on. It's just the zoo. You know, the gorilla pound. The giraffe brothel. Why on earth would you... <laughs> the Aurora Russell Belt adventurer. Who wants to be the Aurora Russell Belt? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, you, what? You got it? No, no, you, you go ahead. This is just- Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? <laughs> Ozzy Man Dial Toe, you've returned to us at last. <laughs> here to turn yourself back over to the zoo, are <laughs> My days of confinement are behind me, Theo. Go fuck thine self. <laughs> you belong here, mon cher. And the sooner you relinquish from society's spoutful grasp, the sooner I can study you again in detail. 
I hardly call letting visitors throw peanuts at me intense study. This is just Flamingo Jail, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort, mon cher. I do. You are liable for my suffering, Theoror. Well, at any rate, I'm sure you have questions. <laughs> what can the Theoror Russellbell's famed adventurer, explorer, documentarian, and zoo master do for you on this fine morn? He's gonna become president someday. We're gonna leave this one for last, let's see. So how's the zoo doing? So it's the largest animal you've ever fist fought, or how are my brethren doing? <laughs> you... That one. That one? Okay. Aha, you mean you're on cellmates, do you not? Yeah, the bastards over in the gorilla enclosure. Well, why don't you visit them for yourself? Admission to the zoo is free, as I'm sure you no doubt know. I don't know if I can face them again. If you charged for tickets, you wouldn't have to force the animals to put on shows. I don't know if I can <laughs> face them again. <laughs> you what? You don't understand, Theo. We have so much... history together. Friend, I almost drowned in the Panama Canal during my adventures. You should've. And I'd dive straight back into her murky depths if I thought I saw a shiny coin on her riverbed. I leap into every mall fountain I use with change lying on its tiled fountain bed. So I see this is no different. <laughs> if you drowned, I'd dance on your body. Right, and then you would drown, because I would have died in the water, naturally. Damn. <laughs> Joke's on you. I float. Hmm. Float, you say? Yeah, why? I'm just memorizing the facts so I can jot it down in your file next time I find a pen betwixt my digits. <laughs> my, what a stupendous character study this is. I will give you no more information. Oh, fooey. Let's see, what's the largest animal you ever fist fought? My my, what a splendid question. If we're only counting animals with fists, I suppose the answer would have to be none other than the noble kangaroo. So, envision as such, I was out exploring the Australian outback and dusk was hastily descending over the plains I was trekking through. Hence, I needed to find shelter, and fast. Why? Did the outback get really cold at night or something? Not at all, no. I simply need my beloved nine hours of beauty sleep to perform exploration at an Optimum level of optimization. Hell yeah. Continue on, then. So I thought to myself... Say, didn't those dandy kangaroo fuckers get their pouches converted into sleeping bags during the worldwide dial-up process? So I sourced a kangaroo from 12 miles away using only the scent of its urine. The lightest of tracks. <laughs> and live updates from the ultra accurate 24 7 kangaroo GPS network. <laughs> Needless to say, it wasn't long before a whole gaggle of ruse was located by yours truly. Uh huh. So I worked right up to the kangaroo, ready to snuggle down for bedtime. But alas, mal happenings abound. The pouch was very much already occupied by a tiny bastard kangaroo lit. <laughs> so I apprehended the juvenile runt and chucked it straight to the ground. <laughs> Which, needless to say, it's mother far from appreciated. <laughs> she threw me a left hook, hitting me square on the chin, cracking my plastic casing and almost displacing my glorious stash. <laughs> 
so I threw her one back, hitting her bullseye in her baby monitor head. Long story short, my punch prevailed, and I slept in the kangaroo's warm, moist, linen-like sheath that night. <laughs> okay, then. That night, I gained the reluctant respect of all kangaroos, becoming kangaroo kin. That's <laughs> getting the name of the cool kangaroo. Now I can legally say the K word, a horrific kangaroo oriented slur that can only be uttered or read by those deemed cool. This <laughs> one Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, cool story, bro. Can I go? <laughs> And miss further tales of past okay. exploits and adventures of yours truly. No. Back, I have to be quieter in general. It's even past midnight, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, phooey. You guys can have the time of your life, though, don't worry. I can't either. No. <laughs> Very well, if you simply must. Okay, so we'll do- we'll finish up this section, I think, and then we'll probably end the stream- or we can continue tomorrow. Let's see. Alright. Yeah. Further. How's the zoo doing? As of late. Splendidly terrible. Our visitor count is at an all-time low, and with three exhibits escaping our grasp. One of which is you, of course. <laughs> we'll need radical change to keep this place running. <laughs> or at the very least, unload more cheap souvenirs onto the fools who pass through our near-deserted gift shop. Let's see. Have you considered sourcing a third patio? What are the other two escapees? Oh, where'd they go? Good, I hope this place burns. Yeah. But I do wonder where the other two escapees went. Hmm. Mm. Let's go with that one, then. Let's see. That information eludes even I, my green friend. One was a white tiger, which sadly went AWOL following a recent mob-operated botched caper that took place here at the closing time. I could not act, nor wave my big stick at those scallywags, for I already had my sleeping mask on. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. And I had my jungle music blaring at top volume, delivering me into a joyously nightly coma. So you let them leave without getting shot at? Very unlike you, Theo. Rest assured, I did take a few masked pot shots with my beloved lever action rifle. Like in Fortnite. Okay, see, that's more like you. As for the other escaped exhibit, a flat snake is getting immense Saxton Hale vibes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not legally able to speak about <laughs> that one, as the as the mayor wishes to keep its very existence a mystery until its retrieval. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that, my greed and friend. Mm. No more plot for you. As a top scientist explorer of the unknown, this pains me perhaps more than it does you. Fuck off. Yeah, I will say, I felt like this- I thought, like, if you were supposed to be Theodore Roosevelt, but I do agree, Flat Snake. He's- but <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> Saxon Adventure. <laughs> Excuse you. But should you have any other questions, those I can perhaps answer. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? <laughs> take you to the fun fair? My dear Ozzy Van Dial Tone. Why would you wish to go to a place like that when there's infinite merriment to be found here, back in your old cell? Oh, fuck off. Go ahead, climb back inside. I insist. You might like it nicer this time. Christ. 
Why? I even cleaned the hay pile. Yeah, because gorillas kept dying in the existing hay piles. Tut tut. I was hardly the individual who felt it necessary to discard all of those used syringes in the hay in the first place, was I now? <laughs> Please, Dio. Why must it be the fun fair in particular, anyway? Last I checked, you aren't particularly fond of crowds nor bright lights. <laughs> never mind, never you mind, theocrat. I like the rides. I need somewhere to lay my eggs. Should we be honest? What do we want to do? Mmm, lie. <laughs> I like I the don't rides. trust him. <laughs> Aha! If you seek thrills, then you've come to the right man. Now, wouldn't you say that a bumpy boat ride through the uncharted seas of the Bermuda Triangle is quite akin to a roller coaster ride? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> but with tenfold the adventure possibility. True, it's true. No, not at all. <clears throat> roller coasters tend not to kill people. Okay, maybe our Except local Except when they do. But, uh, stop looking at me like that. Poppycock, seek adventure with me. You wish, old man. I'd rather go back to my cage than spend a month in a jungle with you. I'd rather not. I have eggs to lay. You don't trust him? We don't trust mm. him. I don't trust yeah. him as far as I can throw him. So be it. As the old West Australian pro or West Atlantean proverb goes, a man chooses a gorilla doesn't. That doesn't sound right. Very insightful, yes, so wise. Now he's just being Bioshock man. Very insightful. <laughs> Why, thank you, Green One. It's. All, it also kind of, he kind of reminds me of, uh, God, what is it? Wilfred Warfstash. Mayhaps. He is a man of many faces. I'm going by. Back to your old exhibit, I hope. No. You've always got a hay pile for you back in your old enclosure, don't forget. I'm alright, thanks. With all due respect. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Bully to you, then. You see only adventure, green one. We'll, we'll leave. When it enters you, you are not strong enough to do that yet. <laughs> Did you see? Yeah, I saw it. Wonderful. So here's what we'll do for now. Save our game real quick. Awesome. I think it would be a good time to... Well, we have eight viewers. We could raid someone. That would be kind of cool. Let's see. Hold on. I never get to do this, so I'm actually very excited to. Let's see. What, um, on Twitch, who do we, who do we want to raid? What, what category do you think? Let's see. Like, what sort of, what sort of game do we want to see if we're going to be playing? The critically acclaimed MMORPG. Truly, true. The critically no. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, so we do see a few. Let's go to. I don't know what our what people are interested in watching right now, but let's try. Do 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 do. I'm looking for people. Looking for people. What game? What game? Chat, what are you guys interested in watching? I want to raid someone, but I want I want to know what you guys are interested in watching so I can pick a, a, a thing to look for. Let's see. Do you guys want more Dial Town? Do you want, um, Minecraft? Or, eh, I just scratched my glasses on my mic. I'm so good at that kind of a thing. Or, or your favorite, Among Us. <laughs> We're going to raid someone that's playing Among Us. <laughs> 
is Lias playing among us right now? Let's see. Do, 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 Who is do, currently do, live do, do. for Among Us? I'll go do, with, do, do. is there really nobody live for Among Us? There has to be people live for Among Us. Come on. That's disappointing. Who else live? I can't find people on Twitch. I want to raid the channel. I don't know. <laughs> you know who's live right now? Who? Wayne Radio TV. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to? Do it. Do it. Guys, we're gonna raid Wayne Radio TV, the creator of Half Life VR AI. <laughs> All of this. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. Let's go. You're being left in good hands. Come on, guys. Let's go. Ha, ha, ha.